Miller. Dubit. Two seconds to shoot. Dubit. Oh, but uh, nah, nah. Four 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 so uh Inevra starting the second half with some costly turnovers. Already three turnovers for Barangay Inevra in the third quarter. And Fiele, you know, this uh, Barako Ball uh, team is really that milking that uh, high screen play, high ball screen play. Well, early on, Richard, in the first quarter, Nelly Libre, the point guards this on uh, Barako Ball with the defense that Hinebra was showing. Now, the big guys of Hinebra have to extend out on the on the point guard, so it leaves the big guy open. So, my God, you don't see Hans Fiele able to right. hit those shots, and the other big guy, Mark Isip, to giving the screen now Nat will give them again back the option that the point guard will have a little bit more room to operate and create uh, the problem is because what happened in the first half was uh, and and Ken Bono like what uh, has been uh, showing here they weren't as consistent as the two big guys before them Here's Isip now. Forces the issue against Hatfield, and Hatfield just uh, rejects that uh, shot. Well, that's just the strength of the base of Rudy Hatfield. Nima Bangani to Mark Isip. So when he went up for the shot, Hatfield was able to recover and get the block. Here's Marvin Cruz. Fiele now. Wayne Wright is uh, bumped by Mike Cortez. Second personal foul on Mike Cortez. And there's blood on the uh, right Wilson. eyebrow there of uh, Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson uh, I think it was accidentally hit by the elbow of uh, Sunday Salvation in the previous uh, rebound play. And uh, this is a piece of the action. Yon. Accidental contact that time. Yeah, and you can see them on Sunday apologizing right away. JC and Dr. William Wilson. Matalas yung siko nitong si Sunday. Salvation now. Nice. Uh, Flex cut there by Wainwright, but the uh, third score, two seconds remaining in the shot clock. Wainwright launches it. Well, that's always a tough shot to take. When the shot clock is winding down and you don't have the ball yet and you know it, even before you take the shot, you're already anticipating to take it. Jason Misolas seeing action for the first time for Marajo Bull. Here's Mike Cortez against Cruz. And that's a patented layup for Mike Cortez. We've seen that move ever since he was in college. Well, what you like about that play is Mike Cortez was able to set up his man. He got a little, he got free for even just half a second. But when he got the ball, he was already able to beat Marvin Cruz. Here's Wayne Wright, hands it off to Sunday Salva Shores. And a loose ball foul call against Rudy Hatfield. Acknowledging the foul, let me see Rudy Hatfield. Well, that's what you need to do. If you're playing against Rudy Hatfield, you do what he does against you. Even if you got him boxed out, he still tries to move and go for the ball. And that time, that's what Mark Isip did. Sunday now. Creates his own space. Fadeaway is no good. And Isip gets that loose ball. Sunday once again. And alam mong may go signal eh. No? Kasi kada hawak ng bola. Bitaw. And you don't see Coach Junel Bakuli complaining. Well he knows he's the number one guy. And he's averaging 18 points. You need him to take the shots. You gotta have someone that's willing to take the shot every time. And he's the type of player na pag hindi tumira, pagagalitan mo. 
because he, he, that's what he's known for. That's what he's there for. He's not there to play defense. Uh, like we know, Richard, in every team, there are certain players that have specific roles. Here's Isip now. Even though he was blocked right again, and he's blocked once again. Kakiwa. Change of speed. Oh, baseline drive is good. We could already see, or others seeing it on see JC and Tal leading the break. Kagiwa could have opted to pass it, but decided to just wait for the defense a little bit and get his own two points. And a 30 second timeout uh, called by Coach Junior Bakuri. This timeout is brought to you by Handyfix, ang first aid ng bahay mo. Bonds all, seals all, a four point lead for Barangay Ginebra halfway through this second quarter and a full timeout now is charged against Barangay Ginebra so we'll take this break stay tuned glad to have you uh, back with us gear up for another season of unscripted drama raw emotion and the best basketball as we unfold the 2010-2011 NBA season with us the best games live every morning on BTV and from Saturday to Monday on Solar TV log on to these channel websites for full and complete schedule in the third quarter itong uh, Hinebra Gin Kings have been shooting 3 out of 6 or 50% itong Barack Bull 4 out of 11 that's why coach Junel Bakuli also not so happy with the way they've been moving the ball because they haven't really been moving. That's right. Here's Intal. Kagiwa trying to post up Ubalde. Quick move, Kagiwa to get a basket to go. And see if Barako can make the necessary adjustments. Here's Wainwright guarded by Miller. Salvashon posting up. Oh, and the basket will count. I like what Sunday Salvashon did that time. He was very patient. Dribbled the ball twice in. He was able to take out Mark Kagiwa. Down low, he moved him closer and closer to the basket. Spun around and got that fadeaway shot from Sunday Salvashon. Well, showing us another facet of his game. Uh, of course, we all know him as a good outside shooter, but not as a post-up player. And he has nine points in the game so far. Lead of Finebra. Down to one. Miller with a tough fadeaway off the glass. Again, the beauty of a player who knows how to set up a guy or his defensive player. Dunsa screens, you get a wide open shot. Salvashon once again posting up. Salvashon feels comfortable. With that matchup, gets his own miss. Here's Ubalde. And uh, Kagio once again called for holding. Holy ground, number 47, Mark Kagio, penalty. Third Baraka foul, Baraka third Mark Kagio. Yeah. Baraka Bull doing the right thing, attacking the defense of Mark Kagio. The, the, the Spark Kagio has in, actually been the one carrying the Barangay Hinebra Kings even if he's not scoring whenever he has the ball he commands so much attention the other guys get open let's get an update on Willie Wilson from Gino thanks Richard Willie Wilson suffered a big gash over his right eye and he said he actually didn't uh, know what happened he didn't see what actually hit him he said whatever it takes he wants to get out on the floor as fast as possible and doctors said that he will require stitches but they will do it after the game now it was pretty funny because a guy who knows a thing or two about injuries Sam Boy Lim was actually helping out with the medical staff of Inebra guys oh uh, of course I know Sam Boy Lim eh. uh, veterano sa operasyon madaming pinagdaanan itong si Sam Boy Lim and could be there for moral support in the meantime Mike Cortez Fighting his range and a turnover once again. Nice pass there by Kagiwa to Hatfield. Forcing turnovers. Yes, it's a pressure defense on the backboard. Doing wonders for Coach John. 
And it usually happens, Richard, look at the five on the floor, where we see the three-point shot of Mike Cortez. And then the defense, you see Mark Aguiwa giving it to Rudy Hatfield. I was talking about the lineup change of Coach Jong Chico. We don't have Yancy De Ocampo, not 100% for Enrico Villanueva. Eric Mank is injured, they're playing four small, and look what happens. They're able to pressure the ball and get good shots. We actually have uh, Intal playing the four position. In the meantime, a uh, foul call against Mike Cortez. This is foul number 21, Mike Cortez, penalty. That's, That's third a foul personal. on Mike Cortez, and Two they are in the penalty, something which Barack Bull could exploit in the last 3 and 46 of the third period. Misalas <laughs> knocking down that first free throw. They're still within striking distance. Lead is 6 for Barangay in Nebra. You can see Nebra running that uh, flex play. A lot of teams have been playing. Alam mo yung play na yan, Richard? Ever since the early 90s. Yeah. But still as effective. You know, any offensive set, as long as you run it well, will always be effective because you have a, you have a lot of reads, just like the triangle offense. That's right. Obalde with a quick retaliation and transition. Hatfield. Looking for a teammate. Finally finds Kagiwa. Good uh, read there by Obalde. They have the numbers here. Wainwright set up for that three and he knocked it down. He was waiting for that, waiting for that time that he could get an open three point shot. At Nahana, it was Paolo Obalde, it was Rob Wainwright for that three-point shot. Great run for Baraco. And Baraco Bo just refusing to fade away. They're only down by one, 257 remaining. With regards to grudge matches, ganun naman talaga eh, when a player gets traded, when he plays against his former team, I don't know, siguro talagang ginagalingan nila o nagsitsempo maganda ang laro nila, but our game versus Cinebra would be interesting. Well, so far, Sunday, playing well against his uh, former team, he has 9 points so far, although it is still way below his uh, averages. He averages 18 points per ball game. All right, now we'll take another short break. We'll be back after a few reminders. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a good game in our hands. And right now, I'd like to remind everyone about uh, PBA Clicks for Chicks. Log on to www.solar.tv.com.ph or www.ptv.com.ph. Click on the Clicks for Chicks. Vote for your best player of the week. Winners will be announced every Sunday. Eric Meng, used to uh, be a spectator here. He's uh, out on an injury. Together with Yancy Del Campo. Oh, what a shot there for Willie Miller, and he has 15 in the game. It's just so nice to see Willie Miller getting in rhythm and making those shots. It's not hard to depend on it. see Willie Miller, and uh, he really has to work trying to get free from the defense. Although he commits a uh, foul against uh, Rob Wainwright and they are in the penalty, so uh, that's his first personal. Rob Wainwright will uh, shoot to the line. In the meantime, Solar TV presents Boxing at the Bay 5 Friday Fight Fest at the United Sports Arena. Passing, Brian Viloria versus William Petsch Sor Virapol for the main event. Those who will catch the boxing at the bay will also get a free Pacquiao versus Margarito live viewing ticket. Sino ulit yun? Si, uh, sinabi ko na, hindi ka nakikinig. Bakit boxing at the bay? Tapos na hinare sports. Baka maglalagay sila ng picture doon ng bay. <laughs> Mike Cortez scoring his seven points in the game. Under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. 
Oh, he uh, 